Hi everyone, my name is Charlie and today I'm going to be reviewing Freya by Anthony Quinn. It follows the story of two women who meet on VE Day and immediately Freya and this girl have a connection and they return to Freya's father's apartment where they dance and drink and smoke cigars and it's a friendship that feels quite real, it feels quite fluid and it was a book I chose to purchase and to read simply because of this talk of a female friendship and I wanted to see if it was done well and this is one of the struggling it's one of the points for me where I'm struggling to determine how to review this book I like the writing and I really like Anthony Quinn's writing style and I got through this book quite quickly because of the style alone and I just I really liked the mention of London and the way that London changed and the space and the setting was really a character of itself and that was something that I really enjoyed and I also really liked reading about this friendship between Freya and Nancy and how Freya is feeling kind of discontent after being part of the Wrens during the war and she doesn't feel like going to Oxford and becoming this university student is the life that she wants now because she's been working so fast and Oxford kind of feels like it doesn't mean anything whereas it means quite a lot to Nancy who wasn't in the Wrens during the war and is only just 18 and it was nice to see these people who were actually quite close in age have really different far apart views and Freya kind of sees herself as this mother figure to Nancy and Nancy lets her take on this role and it's only through Nancy's writing that and the way she behaves that Freya gets some sense that Nancy isn't actually this really innocent naive girl that she's been imagining her to be. It continues throughout their lives and Freya decides to pursue, pursue a career as a journalist and Nancy pursues a career as a writer and they become friends and stay friends. Throughout the whole book there are friends she met at university that keep popping up now and then and friends that she makes and friends that she doesn't have anymore and there are conversations about friendship. When I was reading I thought it was this preoccupation with homosexuality and then towards the end I understood why they were having this thought because there is this question about sexuality but it was nice to see some sort of semblance of bisexuality included in a novel. Freya is a very forthright, strong woman who isn't afraid to fight for what she wants. And this was a brilliant book. I enjoyed it for its style and its setting and its characters because I really and I really liked reading about the friendship between Freya and Nancy. And to me, throughout the entire novel, that was the only thing that mattered. And considering that was what the book was about, it did really well. And I would be giving this book five stars. And it is probably going to be one of my favourite books of the year. And I'm really I'm glad in a way that it is ask, it's causing me to ask these questions because it makes me want to go and discuss these things with friend, my friends and discuss how it's going because... Freya's sexuality isn't the big thing about this book. Freya's friendship with Nancy is what the big thing is about this book. But I kind of wish that it had just stayed. And it does... It, it, it never veers out of the confines of this friendship. And this friendship constantly feels like they're sisters. Like they are this force that needs the other to work. They are characters that are very close to my heart now. And I only finished... And I finished this book a week ago kind of want to know more about their lives and I feel but then I don't want to know more about their lives as well in that it's one of those books that just is and it's just real I'm really grateful to have read it and I think that it's a really great book my inner feminist was really you know quite happy to see this strong female relationship portrayed in a novel it was nice to see kind of very pared down prose but everything kind of felt like it counted towards something. I'm still processing the novel and I'm still questioning it and thinking about it and processing things that happened and considering the characters and I did consider going back and reading it straight away just so that I could understand it more and see where things had happened and why they'd happened. I'd say it's a definite it's definitely a book that needs to be read because it's a very good look at female friendships and it's a very good look at attitudes after the war and even though she, Freya fought in the war she is still held back by kind of these misogynist news reporters who don't see her stories as being as good or as relevant as their male counterparts so 
it was good, and I was very glad that Quinn included these things. It would have been a five star book if I still gave star ratings, and there are definitely a lot of questions to be had and to be asked once you finish the book, at least from my perspective, I was never very good at English literature. I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, that is all.